Well, before this summit even started, NATO was saying what great achievements had been made. There was an 11th hour deal on Monday night uh, with news that Sweden would soon be joining NATO after Turkey removed their objection for Sweden uh, joining the bloc. So that was the mood going into the start of this summit. Uh, President Vladimir Zelensky, though, quickly soured the mood uh, by saying that he thought it was absurd if, if there wasn't a timeline for NATO membership. Um, and that is something that really has hung over this summit. Um, we've been hearing more from the G7 nations who've put a very firm uh, uh, frame in place, if you will, um, very much to, uh, to help Ukraine with things such as training and finances and equipment and support and to very much come up with a firm plan uh, because it all involved appreciate that this conflict is still continuing to roll on and Ukraine needs some guarantees when it comes to security. Uh, the, the UK, for example, a member of the G7 said that this new framework um, builds a Ukraine that can defend its territorial sovereignty both today and in the future. It also includes things such as intelligence sharing as well. We also have the first meeting of the NATO-Ukraine Council as well, which NATO have said means uh, that Ukraine can come to them as equals. They can call for this council when they want discussions with wider NATO allies. So that's something uh, that NATO will be focusing on as well. Vladimir Zelensky, the Ukrainian president, certainly hasn't left here empty-handed either. There have been all sorts of promises from all sorts of countries about new training and new equipment, uh, new weapons. The UK, for example, providing 70 combat and logistical vehicles. Germany saying they will provide two Patriot missile launchers and missiles, along with things like Leopard tanks and 20,000 artillery rounds. So all of these things NATO keen to focus on. Uh, we also have Vladimir Zelensky here meeting with a host of world leaders as well. A very uh, positive meeting, he said, uh, with US President Joe Biden was probably uh, the highlight. Uh, the Ukrainian president said that meeting ran far longer than it was meant to and could have gone on much longer if protocol had allowed. So uh, Ukraine might not have got the pathway to NATO membership they want, but they've certainly got a lot of support from NATO allies for their continuing fight against Russia. John Beaver, CGTN in Vilnius.